We have intent here. Let me read what's written up there. This says, find the points of intersection in the zy plane for this function. All right, if we were gonna draw that vector value function, it appears to be a cylinder in the x z plane. And we're going to be tracing it in a linear fashion. It starts here and cruises around the cylinder in circles. What we are intending to do is we're trying to find the points of intersection of that vector value function and the zy plane. So we see from the picture we're going to have plenty, but what we need to do is we need to find that t-value so that that happens. Take a look at this. It's like if we took a piece of paper and on the zy plane we sliced this cylinder and we had our ant tracing circular patterns around it. Yeah, if we're trying to find that intersection, we notice something about x. x just happens to be zero. So that's what we're going to do. We want to find the parts or the points where x is equal to zero. Why? Because if we have the zy plane, x is zero. So we're going to look at that. If x is zero in the zy plane, then 4 cosine t is equal to zero? For sure. So then you got the cosine t is equal to zero? For sure. Then you have t is the cosine inverse of zero? Yeah, so now we need to know where the cosine zero, and this is going to return our t values. The t values that we're going to have to plug in to our r of t. Now in a unit circle, the cosine is zero up here at pi over two, and also down here at three pi's over two. So these are going to be our t values, and it's going to happen every uh, pi. So why don't we give the first one, t is pi over 2 plus, so it happens every pi after that, plus k pi. Sure. Got totally lucky on that one. Awesome. Keep on keeping on. Here's my t values. Why don't we crank out a couple? So t is pi over 2, it's also 3 pi's over 2, and 5 pi's over 2, and 7 pi's over 2, and that's going to get us these points here, 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 and here, when we plug it into our vector value function. Now this keeps on going and going and going, and put some ellipses there if you wish. Ah. Alright, so we're using this guy. Let's throw it on in there. Hmm. Wow, we probably could even do it in general, but let's just get the first four. Those guys. So then my R of pi over 2. This is 4 cosine pi over 2. Pi over 2. 4 sine of pi over 2. So we see our first point of intersection. This guy up here, this is going to be 0, pi over 2, and 4. Sure. Which is where it should be, since we have a cylinder, radius 4. Uh-huh. And out pi over 2. Great. My next one, r of 3 pi over 2. This is 4 cosine 3 pi over 2. 3 pi's over 2, and 4 sine 3 pi's over 2. And when we evaluate those guys, I'm going to get a point for the vector tracing it where its tip is on that point. Uh, that's 
3 pi over 2 and the sine of 3 pi over 2 is a minus 1. So that gives you a minus 4. Shoot. Let's see if it's consistent with our picture. Out, 3 pi over 2, and down 4. That's that point right there. So you see where this is going, and you'd make a collection of these.